Yes, he's casting a merry hair in the shoots because he's written in the sacred texts. Uh. I mean, bro. Call this one the beginning of the ruination. <laughs> oh, bro, RIP that fucking man. RIP. I mean, that's as good as uh, any place to dive in, bro. We're back with another right episode here. of Soup Speaks. Uh... <sighs> the experience. The experience. The audio the experience, experience. The visual experience and mind mm. of mind, body, and soul. Welcome, everybody. Mm. Welcome. And we've got Sammy. We've got Coleman. Hey, everybody. We've got Jeff. There and is. we have a returning face. Woo! It's not sure this little mug on the channel. Yeah. Got Benny. Benji, welcome back. Me in some sort of facility. What's happening, yo? He's in the other <laughs> world facility, bro. How are you, Benji? Yeah. How's it been? I've been, uh, what's the word? You've been trapped. What's the word? Committed. Are you been committed? <laughs> <laughs> committed. He's been committed for so art, yeah. art crimes, bro. But he's back again. <laughs> We're happy to have you, Benji, bro. We miss I have, you. I have to be. I have to see your, uh, for an artist, your wall's a bit bare, son. No, no, it's crazy. I mean, I've got a cupboard there that is, like, kind of oh. littered with some scribbles. But Just the wall... He thinks he's in art college, bro. He's in fucking solitary confinement at the mental hospital, bro. Yeah, thanks. Clearly. He's been committed for art-related things, bro, as, as it was going to happen. Listen, the, the yeah. space, the empty space is the art, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that is uh, some shit that he should have been about. It's no, a, we're going to study negative space. As you might see, the blank white wall represents the impossibility of the American dream. Oh, An idolized friendship. <laughs> Welcome well, back. But... Well, it's episode 13, I think. Yeah, we're, uh, but the end, season expunged episode 13, bro. <laughs> we're finally here. <laughs> we're the fuck. Uh, Benny, I want to ask, uh, the people know that you've been doing your little college course, or mm. university course, rather. Ah, yes. Don't get a, a twist, don't get a twist. Now. Uh, how have you been enjoying that? Have you got any tidbits to give the people? Uh, tidbits? Mm. Uh, any tidbits? Any tidbits? Uh, tidbit number one is don't take any advice from me. Hey, man. Uh, <laughs> We're always looking, listening to you for logic and advice. You're the art man, after all. Don't know about that. Uh, yeah, true. Yeah, man. I used to try to be. Yeah, you are, bro. Um, Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of scribble about whenever I feel like it. As it should be. Uh, what uh, living in a student accommodation during COVID? Mm. It's, it's um it's cheap. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, you can. It's li convenient. <laughs> living with people is very uh, convenient when it comes to Ames. I'll say that much. Overall, it's it's just kind of cursed. Yeah, bro. Well, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure. It can't be I as cursed as currently though, it. For like the last, I'd say, month. Yeah, actually, it's been a solid month. I have been the only man in this flat. Hey, it was about, that's pretty good. Uh, one, two. Yeah, there was about five other guys who left. The flatmates they left like right before, just before Christmas. Oh my god. Um, what for? Just to go down to see the fam, or did they all lose their minds? Yeah, just yeah. just to um, Christmas just before stuff. the travel ban was introduced, they just left to go home. They got, uh, they got stranded. Like I imagine a harem of art women. Which I can say, art women are. Top can I get here. a hell yeah, bro? Look at this dude. <laughs> hell yeah. He's becoming, he's becoming the. S, who's that guy? The Playboy guy, except for art. <laughs> what you have? Yeah, he's becoming, the, he's becoming the Hugh Hefner. Or the <laughs> a decrepit old man who probably has to take drugs all day to make his pee pee work. Yeah, man. <laughs> but he wore it. But he was surrounded but by hot shit. He uses his pee pee a lot. Yeah, uh, hey. <laughs> that's really cool. But bro, mm -hmm. we're, we're glad that you're still here, surviving despite all of the. The utter fuckery that's been going on, bro, for everybody. Yeah, I've been kicking on. Yeah, bro. I think that's Doing what I'm It's the same for all of us, bro. But you're here now in the podcast, bro. It's been a long time. The last one you were in was probably the fucking the the <laughs> horror, back in the day, bro. The I utter burning match. Oh. Live podcast, bro. The, the horrific setup podcast, that was bro. That was back when we were literally that meme with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Should the fucking table. Oh, uh, the bro, fucking I'm kids, bro. Those kids, those kids were better than us, bro. Those yeah. kids like had topics, bro. They had the camera angles, bro. Yeah, they were talking about my quality. They were talking about if communism was flawed and all that, bro. That's like, yeah. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, that's one of the. I mean, I love the memes. What are you talking about? I mean, you know, seen that meme, people? Jeff, bro. It's one of the best memes. It's like three eight-year-old kids in the exact same setup as our podcast talking about things, and it's like, should communism be banned and stuff like that? It's fucking I mean, hilarious. Geez. It's one of the best memes ever. But yeah, they probably did a better job than us with that setup. To be quite honest, if we get better, but bro, look at this. 
Look at all the oh, assets we're, we're using right now. Yeah, little by fantastic. Little. We're little rising by little. stars in the podcast scene, bro. Don't you know? I'm actually so excited just to type the it's name Benji, bro. Rise. I'm excited to make to not have the same blue, uh, you know, orange, red, or purple, or whatever, bro, or white. We're gonna have a green at long last, bro. It's been so long, it's been so long. <laughs> you know how exciting that is for me. I can't express how exciting that is for me, bro. It changes up the editing process this much, but it makes it this different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It's so oh, it's gonna be, a long way. Yeah, it's gonna be have refreshing. You, have you been on a podcast before? Yeah, he has, bro. Yeah, he's on, on the one of the ones yeah. back that's in the day. That's what we're saying. It was one of the redacted episodes, bro. Yeah, yeah. Did, did it survive? Did it? No, it didn't survive. I don't know. This would be counted as a guest appearance, I guess. Mm. Nah, man, you're one of the. You're still on the banner. You're still on the banner, bro. He survived. On that banner, bro. You're still here. He survived the bannering, bro. But he's returned to the podcast with. Very special implications and for a very special reason, bro. Yeah. If you, Today, you may have saw well, something of a trailer giant portions could be back for moons and moons. Mm, you may have saw, bro. A uh, subgroup reacted to that just a little while ago. Go check out their reaction if you've not already to see what the implications are. A giant lizard. A big chimp. A giant monkey. Uh, <laughs> we're fucking and a whole here, lot of fun. And a whole lot of fun, bro. Right, let's get into the show. Who wants to take off? I think the first thing that we should lay down right now, bro. One will fall. Who? Which team are we with right now, bro? Who wants I'm to be? To, I die, bro. I'm Team Kong, bro. Got two, yeah. two for Team Monkey, it's... bro. All right. It's gonna be Monkey. What now, do you think? Usually, I would be. I'm all for monkeys in every single walk of life, mm. but Godzilla just hits different, bro. That's a, that's all I can explain. <sighs> Godzilla just be hitting different. Bro. Yeah, bro. He's simply built different, bro. Godzilla is. <laughs> I t- bro, he's so he is built different, bro. Like I'd have to be, I have to be Team Lizard, bro. He's just the, he's the one. He's king of the built monsters, bro. Right? Godzilla, bro, king of the monsters and everything. His name's got God in the name, but I'm not God willing. Yeah, to God, bro. I'm not willing to pick a side until I see some bloodshed, bro. Is all I'm saying. Uh, well, it's gonna be real, I don't think you're to gonna see. have to pick a side anyway. Yeah, they, they can't kill. I think one. we're all gonna become one side in the last act, and then we'll yeah. all be best friends hand well, in hand. Well, this no, Kong and Godzilla just... kicked the shit out of Billy Bob Thornton. <laughs> Billy Bob fucking Thornton. It says, it says one will fall, so surely. Yeah, yeah like they're yeah, like. I'm sure they I said one saying will that... fall in some Batman vs Superman shit, and I'm never happened. See, I don't like. I one keep saying that, like. And then get immediately revived to fight a greater threat. They're seriously, like, pushing it, but, like, it makes me wonder, like. How serious is it gonna be? I think it means like if if it, if, see if they're saying one will fall, it definitely won't be the hands at the hands of each other. I feel like one of them will yeah, bro, one get will killed by something else. Back up and get two. I mean like um, <laughs> mm. I don't so, know. they'll do the he'll put the other one will put his arm down and lift them up, bro style. And oh, then they'll both bro. Kick the they're gonna oh, can you imagine that? Yeah. Good yeah. Good good oh, Billy Bob Shut Thorne, bro. When, when Jeff references Billy Bob Thorne, he means Millie Bobby Brown, the little stranger. <laughs> that he felt he's fit to scream at kaiju's. Who's in the movie for some reason? Billy Bob fucking Thornton. Billy Bob Brown. Bro. I feel like when he, he say. You prefer to be Billy Bob yeah, though, right? Who would, is that? Course. I don't know who the fuck that is. The guy from Bad Santa. Is that who that is? The old man. You know Billy Bob Thornton, the crazy no, guy. No, bro, you have lost me so hard right now, bro. Uh, uh, he's up there with Gary Busey in terms of like insanity. Right, I know who Gary Busey is. Right, I know who Gary Busey is, and he the reason why he's insane is because he had severe brain damage one thing. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure Billy Bob's got some shit going on, bro. I like Gary Busey. I'd like to see Gary Busey fight Godzilla. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> That'd be crazy. But yeah, see when they say when it says one will fall, it reads mm. to me like, it, right, Kong's, Godzilla's not gonna get killed by Kong, and Kong's not gonna get killed by Godzilla. I'll say that, right? That's not gonna happen. They're gonna fight each other. They're gonna rough each other up. They're gonna end up punch like pointing the final fists at each other. Then they're both gonna go. <laughs> And then they're going to see a big metal, big lizard pulling up in the horizon. Because we've already nope. seen that. Mecha Godzilla seems like he's pulling up, bro. So what that reads to me is... Yeah, we've seen one little frame yeah. from the trailer of you could see some sort of... Well, I think you've actually skipped the set, Mark. Because oh, really? we have a theory. We all have a theory that we were talking about before we start recording. What was that? that they will become friends based yeah, on yeah. their mutual love for a yeah, certain what... moth-type mm. creature. <laughs> yeah, bro, why did you say that, that now? Oh, bro, bro, why did you say that? Oh, no! A repeat of the uh, Martha incident, yeah. bro, but it's I've... just Mothra. Well, that will happen, right? They're going to scream a bit Mothra. They're going to unite forces. They're going to fight <laughs> uh, Mecha, Mecha Godzilla. One of them is going to fall at the hands of that thing, potentially. 
And maybe that's how one will fall, no, but I don't do you know. I think it is Mecha Godzilla, bro. I can't imagine I it being in there. Like that would confuse the general. It'll office. be Pacific Rim. Yeah, mm. I keep saying that, oh, but they, yeah. should, they should have fused those two together, bro. It should have been. There was talks of it ages yeah, ago. Bro. They should have done yeah, bring in I. bring in the Pacific Rim boys and they go. We've been designing this new kaiju proof robot suit, bro, and it's just a robot kaiju and it's Mecha Godzilla, and we used the head like of God Godzilla or some stuff. Like, it was like charging complete yeah. or something. And mm -hmm. it was like some military base with a screen, and you could see some sort of giant robo man. And it looks like, yeah, it does not look like. Yeah, definitely, yeah. It does not look like. too uh, detailed, though. And so I'm wondering who it could be. So it, it does could not, be. yeah. <laughs> it doesn't read to me like it's going to be Mecha Ghidra or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. It does look like it's going to be, like, it just looks, it's got the two big thick leggies and the tail. It looks like he's kind of hanging dong a little bit. It's going to yeah, be. I mean, boy, it could be Ghidra, but. I mean, it could be like one-headed Ghidra, like uh, Monster Zero or Monster, Monster X at one time. Yeah, I can't. It's kind of obscured. Carl already took on Ghidra on his own, so why would he need? Did he? Nani? Do you mean Godzilla? Was that another three-headed one? No. Yeah, yeah but that was. Yeah, Godzilla didn't need troops for that, so why would he need a troop for a one-headed one? Mm. Who knows? Because it's, it's Ghidra built by tiny little humans. Oh, he's literally. Actually, he's literally built Ghidra. different. I was thinking because remember good. at the end of that last yeah. one, they had that one guy from Game of Thrones being like, Charles the Dance. Goons, yeah. the goons. Charles yeah, Dance pulled up. DNA at the end of the film, bro. I think they probably took yeah, like the they probably took the skeleton of Ghidra, the head of Ghidra, and they're using it to build over mm -hmm. this suit, and they've made it either a Mecha Ghidra one-headed thing that looks like Monster X from uh, Final Wars. You know that one time he pulled yeah. up. It was like a, it was like a brand new. Basically, it was like a brand new monster looked like. It was a big one-headed Batman-looking fucker called Monster X, and it turned out it was King Ghidra in disguise. He could do a, like a double down of that. But so it's the vice versa. They use Ghidra to make Monster X, or it's just Mecha Godzilla after all, or whatever. True, bro. The implications of this trailer go crazy, bro. It was very exciting. Like I said, the only reason that I'd be more leaning towards Ghidra is I feel like having two Godzillas in there, even if one's clearly a robot, mm. it would confusing to movie going idiots yeah i could see it i feel like for hype factor though everyone be like yeah. was godzilla then who's that the hate. i think i honestly think audiences have gotten smarter when it comes to sci-fi stuff because they had two nebulas going on at the same time in endgame and no one was like she just killed herself what's I mean, going yeah. on I don't... What, what is the intellectual drop-off point where you <laughs> don't recognize a giant lizard from a giant mechanical mm -hmm. lizard to be fair, that is a problem with like Scotland, uh, the border of Scotland. That's where the drop off is. Nah, that's fucking brilliant. Like, so UK fucking rivalry, fuck sake. Scotland, the free, the brave, and all that. Oh, it's Scotland or the England. Idiots. Whatever. All right, I suppose so. <laughs> and we're smart, bro. We invented everything. Are you kidding? We, we yeah. Scotland we invented invented fucking everything. Yeah, but it's like um, I think that is a problem with like film production companies and stuff. They really take the intelligence yeah. of the audience for granted it always does the problem with like tv and stuff bro they make this makes issue, to be real. what is the what is just dumb enough for these people to digest bro like come on now give us some credit we're not that fucking dumb we're smart i mean some of us are i know i can watch it and not get confused <laughs> gonna fall to the robot then mm, i think it'll be i think it'll come down That's to that problem i feel like either i feel That's like i don't know film, i don't know i don't know how it's gonna it'll be godzilla but you'll have babies I feel like if it's gonna be Godzilla, he'll die, and then it'll be yeah. They've got Manila pulling up, bro. Oh, fuck it, Manila. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. Yeah, the only I thing I've well. from this movie that I've said from every Godzilla movie that's came out the past like ten years, I yeah. need the double drop kick, bro. Oh, the do <laughs> I need. Oh, I don't, I don't want the double drop it. I want the Godzilla sliding on his tail tackle, bro. That mm. would, bro. Can you imagine <laughs> that he would go? He's just shutting. He goes. <laughs> just does a slight on it. Oh, that'd be stupid, bro. Oh, fire, bro. He could use like his serrated back to like. Just like go into the ground like Bowser when he does his sprint and brawl bro he just skids he just skids along do you know what I'm talking about that'd be crazy I'd love and that skates yeah he skates bro oh the possibilities well I know they kind of teed up bro because like in the run up to this movie I was I was saying like King Kong needs something else bro because right. a big monkey's not beating a giant spiky hided fucking nuclear breath demon mm. of course but then he gave him some sort of fucking axe of the fucking yeah he's pulling up thing. he's pulling up I mean with... bro here, we might fucking plenty of clips in that trailer where the monkey alone without okay. without any kind of, of, of help, yeah. any kind of, of weapon, he's he's knocking the lizards like left, right, ah, and so cool. But yeah, actually, he was the one throwing him about. Like, he said, the monkey, he just wakes up from like a nap, it's, it's like on a boat. Mm -hmm. King Kong is completely 
out of it, just unconscious. He's asleep, bro. Uh, five minutes later, he wakes up, and he's just ready for a fight, and he's throwing the lizard off the boat. Oh, the right he's just knocking him about. That, bro, I see Kong's face when he realised it. Yeah. Cool, that, that face they made when he realised something was coming, bro. You can actually see, like, the... <laughs> Kong was like, what is about to, ha- is about to happen, bro? Like, I know, but, they, like, we've already seen Kong's got some sort of crazy monkey magic going on. With um, mm-hmm. with his like with his like bat with his axe, like he's imbued with some sort of energy, and it looks like he can absorb. Yeah, if energy, it, if it can absorb the yeah. buffalo. Oh, the spirit of the buffalo is with me. My body is imbued with the spirit of the giant ape. Oh god. I was going a little crazy in the group chat. Sure. I was sending up like tons of clips of like here we can see yeah, a blue light. Nice. In this clip, you can also see a blue light. Yeah, and then you can what see. What does it mean? What does it what mean? What does it mean, Benny? Is it a question? Fucking the third out of any it, action movie, does it not? It fucking, like, from, from what I saw, basically, Kong was was basically in the earth. I'm not assuming yeah, the I whole feel... earth wave. Like, mm-hmm. Same with fucking Aquaman. We're going to start seeing like, that, I think. Definitely. Uh, just, like, ecosystems underneath the earth's crust. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming, like, mm-hmm. King Kong mm-hmm. finds some, like, ancient relic from the monkey people. Very it's epic. just a, It's just some red volcanic battle axe that from what we can see, it just absorbs the lizard's energy. Yeah, it just seems I mean, to absorb to things. Cut his head clean off. What the hell? So he's gonna win. If it, uh, right. He's gonna <laughs> win. I'll weep. I'll weep and cry in that fucking cinema. I thought, like, is it, is it, is, can he, like, direct it back? Can he, like, make beam shoe of his fucking axe? That'd be crazy, bro. Hell yeah. Like, fucking um, atomic tomahawk. Yeah. Oh, that'd be, like, I want to know, like, what the hell? Like, was... Everything could happen, bro. But it's like, are we thinking it's ancient accent or are we thinking it's government... Man. Well, did they not show a flashback to the past and showed them wielding it in the olden days, fighting some weird flying lizard things? Oh, was that well, one? No, that was. I think that was. That, was I, that might have been a flashback, but I think that was Kong using a, a giant flying kaiju against another giant flying yeah. kaiju. It's like a, it's well, kind of yeah. well, it could be a mystery, but Again. in the trailer, she says. Uh, they had a civil war in the past and then it cuts to him yeah. going yeah. yeah true enough they'll go in another that, instance of why oh. monkey is just fucking crazy enough monkey on his is own. the beer well it looks mm. like the axe that he uses in that clip where he's like puts his hand on the handprint of the other monkey it looks like some sort of makeshift like stone wood thing this, so I feel this I whole know. trailer was for Kong yeah it was, it was his trailer I know he did I like, no. It makes sense because like Kong's only had one film so far, and we've had a lot of Godzilla already, so it makes sense that like they're they're, oh. they're teeing up. So like they're, they're teeing yeah, up, it's, man. It's actually happening, bro. That is okay. crazy, this bro. Is so crazy. This it's is like happening. it's actually like history. Oh, it's history in the making right now. Like seriously, because we all like a good versus film, bro. But this is like the this is the the ma- the matchup that we've not seen in like sixty years. I'm not even kidding. We've not like, seen it since time. it was worth watching, bro. Yeah, it's time, bro. There's old men and fucking figurines fighting each other, bro. This is the rematch of the fucking century, bro. And I like my versus films quite a lot. If they fumble the bag on this movie, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> is the possibility I still mean, fucking It looked like they were adding more human shit to it. That's my only negative about that trailer, is Kong. we didn't really... The human oh, shit was really bad in Kong, or Godzilla, Godzilla King, King of Monsters. Monsters. Yeah. Yeah. And then they're adding more... Like youth, teen drama shit into it. I the see way, Billy Bob yeah. Brown with the chubby kid from Deadpool. Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah, that was weird. They're gonna, they're gonna, yeah, Billy Bob Thornton's gonna kiss a youth. I saw. I mean, I like them. And they're bringing in the like Kong's the, <laughs> the protector of the protector of humans and all that trope. You know what I'm saying? They're bringing that in, which oh, is pretty. Wow. Yeah, they've got the little monkey reaching in with a big finger and stuff. You know, and they're like got a connection. Kong's going always on. got his connection. Yeah. That's a that's a big thing, bro. Like Kong connecting with some sort of woman has always been a thing mm-hmm. in the films. So it's cool that I got going really in that confused again. at that bit. I got confused with Kong or uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters and uh, the Meg mm. because there's a little Asian girl in the Meg who caught, who like keeps having moments with the shark. And I was watching the trailer going, "Oh yeah, she was in the last one, wasn't she?" And then I'm like, "Wait, I'm thinking of the Meg." Did you watch the Meg, what? Jeff? The Meg is class. Is that actually it. really good? All right, okay, okay. Put your brain off for an hour and a half and have a good time. <laughs> I like, I like, I like brain switch off films as much as the next guy. I can't deny that. Yes, That's pretty cool. I'm pro the Meg, and it's Jason Statham. Jason so Statham. Many, this, this is, is a, a big large shack. spoiler, but there's a bit in the movie where, not to get on a tangent, but there's a bit in the movie where 
Jason Statham doesn't have to get in the water, uh -huh. but he has to show that he's the manliest man in the film. So he gets in that water with a massive shark, even though there's no need. <laughs> That's what he's in for. It's an oh, hour and a half of that. Fucking megalodons, bro. Come on now. Who's jumping in the water with a fucking megalodon shark? That's ridiculous. Jason Statham <laughs> a prehistoric giant shark for intimidation factor alone. Well, would really they bring the meg into Godzilla? I would. Hey, man. Big. I'm here for it. See it. Any giant <laughs> monster film that's any any giant monster film that's existed mix it in. Get get the Cloverfield guy in here, bro. Get Gamera in here. Get J Jaga in here. Get Ultraman in here. Just combine it, bro. <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> come on, Jeff. Coughing in front of my coughing in the middle of this podcast, bro. I can't oh. believe it. What kind of quality is that? I'm gonna have to scrub oh, that out. I'm, it, gonna, I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm gonna have to use the <laughs> Jeff, bro. I'm gonna have to use the. I don't have a D. I don't have a I don't have a decoffer asset that I can use in Premiere Pro. No, it didn't. Oh, we heard it loud and clear. We can, you can hear you now. Just now. This boy in his Xbox 360 headset. Can you hear me? Okay, yes, we can hear you in your fucking turtle oh. beaches, bro. What the fuck? Come on, bro. Wow. No, 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 no. Listen, right on Premiere, we have a declicker. I don't have a decoffer. That doesn't exist. I was right. I was gonna bring up earlier that. All of our little windows right now kind of encapsulate who we are as people. Yeah, we're seeing. We brought. I'm in, I'm in an institution. Yeah. Jeff is an Xbox gamer. Mark is surrounded by darkness and vaporwave colors, and mm -hmm. Sam is surrounded by whiteness. <laughs> oh, Whoa! No. Social commentary, oh, okay. bro. That is famous. The analysis there was quite spot on. I must say. <laughs> ben, my friends. Ben, bro, we're all here. You can't imagine the amount of times you've talked about how our little boxes represent us as people and we're trying to escape it, bro. <laughs> yeah, how do you feel getting labelled as an Xbox gamer? He is a gamer. Bro, I've not, I didn't hear any of the other ones because he said Jeff's an Xbox gamer and I went, no. You are a gamer, bro. <laughs> Don't deny it. You've got your little gamer headband on and everything. Jeff, the only no, thing is today. Nah. The only thing is missing from your little box is like holes in the wall behind you. I'll <laughs> edit them in. Bro. Oh, the just controllers drive. off to the left of them. Fucking low tier, um, uh, low tier gods here, bro. I'm not playing with these corny ass characters. And we're considering me the gamer. That's yeah. insane. Yeah, you look. <laughs> you're the most gamer looking. It's only man. Xbox. Bro. Hey man, I'm a gamer too. I've got my. I have. I don't have a gamer controller to show off right now. Actually, all my stuff's downstairs. <laughs> Shit. Oh. oh, is there any more implications for? No, I so think what we've much... about the story is basically Godzilla's in some sort of rampage, bro. Yeah. So what mm -hmm. do we... And that's why they've gone to get Kong from Skull Island to make him pull up and fight him. What do we think has turned Zilla so malevolent, bro? You I think, uh, the... uh, I don't the... know. I the think humans it's... are gonna think it was Kong the whole time, and he was like sensing him. Mm -hmm. But there's gonna be a bigger bad, and it's gonna be Jason Statham riding a giant shark. <laughs> I would love that so much, bro. I'm not even kidding. Uh, I'd scream. I'm, I'm gonna guess it's it's either um, the scene where we see that dude standing in front of a screen that says the the clip that we think has like Mecha Godzilla in it. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah, assume that might be the start of the film, uh, possibly, or coming Imagine to the climax. That. Yeah. Basically, they they are like close to completing some kind of like Mecha Kaiju with King Ghidorah's head. Yeah. The next line of defense, bro. You mm -hmm. can control and it and stuff. Pretty much Godzilla is either like aware of this and it's just oh, mental. Yeah, he's like, right. yeah. I need to knock these little humans off their pedestal before they mm. get too big for the boots. They're knocking about with the natural order of things, bro. He's not yeah, having it. Pretty either much. Else, either that or it's just going to be another allegory about global warming and the environment. It'll be like, oh, <laughs> humans, are, humans are toxifying the sea too much. Bruh. That's annoyed Godzilla. Uh, who just exactly. sleeps in it all the time. Easy. Easy. Ben, when does when does Jason Statham come into that though? The end. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, cool. yeah, kind of. <laughs> he comes out of right, okay. like, uh, He's the hero. Yeah. I can see Ooh. it, bro. I can see Godzilla becoming Captain Planet, bro. They've done it before. The smog monster. That's what that whole film was about, literally. Like yeah. Hedora. Yeah, Hedora. That's the one. So Hedora came down because he's sucking Hedora. up all the. He's sucking up all of the the gunk, the gamer gunk that we've left behind in the season stuff. <laughs> well. I think, I'll, I'll maybe we'll wrap up with the final implication here. I think um, it seems like they're taking a lot of stuff from like the original films and stuff, like the way they've taken Kong and they're bringing him over, like from the original film, except this time he's not getting hung over with balloons and stuff like that. Oh, <laughs> so, I wish they did that. Be, bro, can you imagine? In the like, original, they used balloons. Yeah, in the original. And literally, literally a massive. 
Massive weather balloons, cogs tied up by the wrists and one leg, and he's flying like that <laughs> after there. They're like, like one leg suspended. Is this a black and white like, film or what? No, it's, not, it's like 1963, so it's in colour, but yeah, that long ago anyway. And he's Can like, be and cogs just look up like. Nah, I might have to be in my <laughs> nah, the and then um, so yeah uh, I kind of compared it to that match, I compared it to that the way they were taking him off the boat so what if they took from other films you know that sort of, and also that's a point because they had the little that little ship thing uh, we saw mm. that were looking at Kong that reminded me of like the, the Super X from Godzilla which is like the little ship thing that they designed it's like a last defence against Godzilla and stuff like that could be that IDK uh where Kong had a collar on, bro. Yeah. So I was thinking a little uh, spaceship form is probably they're mm. controlling him through magnetic waves. Oh, that'd be crazy, <laughs> bro. I think, I don't know, because like the way I see it, they could do some sort of kaiju mind control thing. They've done that in the films very often. The ones I was thinking about was the Hollow Earth, right? There was a mm. film, the film that had Jet Jaguar in it, no less. Godzilla yeah, versus yeah. versus my man Megalon, bro. That had a society of humans that were living underground. And they were getting annoyed with everyone that was going up on the surface, so they sent Megalon up to fuck them up, which then Godzilla had to fight them and stuff like that, and then Jet Jaguar pulled up out of nowhere. So, could it possibly be they were going to meet the Hollow Earth Society, bruh? Oh, well, see it... that little girl who's like Kong's buddy? Yeah. Was she in the first King Kong film? I like, don't well, think She's on the Meg. I'm telling you, she's on the Meg. I can't tell, because... Um... Jason Statham's yeah. daughter. No, I can't be, because, yeah, remember, this film's like... Kong. Kong was like 19... Uh, that was like based in like 19, Vietnam. the 1960s. Yeah, yeah it's like 50 years ago. Vietnam. They showed you where she came from. I think she's the daughter of one of the characters from Skull Island. Yeah, maybe? I think it'll be that at the very least, but it won't be her because, yeah, that was like that was like 50 years ago now. So it'll be either. So, I mean, she could be mm-hmm. uh, part of the underground people because she's tied up in that. She's friends with King Kong. Well, she could be a hollow earthian, bro. That'd be crazy. And that's well, why her connection with Kong so strong. Like, He's got, she's got this bond with King Kong, but if she wasn't in Skull Island, then, then how, how fresh? I think, I think she may be Brie Larson's daughter or something, maybe. Brie, <laughs> Brie Larson's in this film? She was in Skull she was Island, she's the one, she's the one that Kong's, like, friendly with. Oh my god, Isn't I forgot that. I can't say it. It's been so long. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, it's been so long since I watched that film, bro. It was so good, good, good film. Mm-hmm. Very good film. It's really good. Needless Very to good. say, bro, this movie. I mean, well, actually, I was gonna say needless to say, this film's gonna go crazy. It might actually not be the case. It, it will potentially be crazy. Like, the track it, 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 it fucking yeah. will be crazy. No, You've not seen the trailer uh, of has to be. King Kong leaping off a building with an yeah, axe. Yeah, mm. absorb, bro. It has sake. to like see if they do it. If they fuck up this film, this film, one sure. of the most like important films. Of all the films, mm. Legendary can never be trusted and again. The Monsterverse will crumble. Oh, it's Warner like, Brothers doing it. Yeah, but it's Legendary that produce them. They're Warner Brothers are the oh. parent company. They like publish them. But like King of the Monsters, we can we can we can forgive that, right? I can forgive King of the Monsters, right? Have you That's seen okay. King of the Monsters? Yes, I have seen King of the Monsters. Yes. Yeah, right. I, I thought it was epic. In, in summary, it was epic, but then there's so much shit. In summary, to yeah. The highlight, you might as well like watch like the Godzilla King of the Monsters best moments thing and then that's it. You don't even need to watch the film because it's right. just it's just filled with so much filler shit. Stupid humans doing dumbass things I don't fucking care about, bro. I just <laughs> want to see two monsters duke it out and then you've been I'd rather <laughs> the fucking King Ghidorah. I'd, I'd rather see Billy Bob Thornton getting crushed in like the process, <laughs> you know? Like, see the... The way... Right, here's how you make a good kaiju film, right? The humans need to be connected with the monster in some way, but we don't need to focus mm. on it too much, right? We just have little drip drops of it, right? One of the best ones was they did it in a Godzilla film, right? It was some Japanese man uh, who fought World War Two. His life got saved by a little baby Godzilla. Uh, on this island and they're like oh my god I know this guy and then Godzilla pulls up and he thinks there's a connection with Godzilla he's like it's okay Godzilla's my friend he understands me and then Godzilla pulls up uh, right in this building that he's in right he's at eye level of this guy and they're looking at each other for the longest time then he's like yes I know who you are and then Godzilla goes (laughs) 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 fucking beams him and destroys the whole building in the state of a second bro Godzilla bro I can know you're there. <laughs> that is how that is how you do humans in a Godzilla film, bro. 
have them so in it for a few things. <laughs> you need to make the characters so much more expendable, bro. Yeah, they need to have more. Yeah, well, drop them like flies because yep. that's how it should be. When it's you're like that's them. why I think you because you've not seen Skull Island yet, have you? Mm. No, no, it's not. That's what all they get. They got all these big yeah. name actors. Some of them are really up and coming. Like they got half the cast from uh, that of, NWA movie and all they that. Got a lot and of and they all just got fucking bad. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, bro. It's superb. Skull Island was like think of it. Oh, yeah, think of it as it's a slasher film, but giant monsters. That is how mm-hmm. you do it. Even That's in Godzilla one, they got Brian Cranston. Right. He died easy. And yeah, then the he bit all these characters and he bit. Yeah. Brian I'm Cranston. No one would die, bro. Brian Cranston bade everybody go see that film, bro. <laughs> anyone who really goes did. Yeah, and... from fucking Brian Cranston. That's the thing. Godzilla anyone who's fun. anyone unfamiliar with Godzilla, bro, they got bade by Brian Cranston, and then they, they were stuck around for the rest of the film to realize how cool it was, pretty much. Uh so pretty cool. Good. But yeah, that's how I would do it anyway. That's how you would do a good monster film. But I think that's, that's pretty much yeah. That, that was the exact same thing with Colin Samuel Jackson. Yeah. They just die, yeah, bro. They get but killed. The, di- the difference was at least uh, Samuel Jackson had his standoff with yeah, Kong. Yeah, he, he got he became That's a true. cool he became a really cool antagonist for against. He uh, really did. He just yeah. became a maniacal fucker, bro. Yeah, they really did. Uh, <laughs> he had, he had no reason to hate him, but he just hated him. Humans misunderstanding the monk. Why did well? Why they all got to misunderstand the monkey, bro? It's like a running theme. It's a classic, bro. They misunderstand the poor little monkey and it gets fucked with. Real question, though, will they bring back Jack Black? (laughs) No. Uh, That film is so pretty good, I guess. Yeah, it's long. Yeah, it's long. It's really weird, the way... The question is, will they bring back Adrian Brody? Oh, my God, Big Nose McGee. Heckers. (laughs) Heckers. He puts Aiden's nose to shame, man. (laughs) Who's Aiden? Shout out then? my guy Aiden Collins, bro. Shout out my guy Aiden He's Collins. He's been on a video, has he not? Yeah. No, no. He recorded it. a video and then we never used it because it you was You condemned so it, bro. You condemned that video. Did they record a video for us and didn't use it? What happened? Yeah, bro. Jeff said that. We, I, tr- I started editing it and then I was like, <laughs> what, what? Great. what was it? Yeah, he did fucking... It was a FIFA video. Oh, Wait. of course. A classic. A classic. Yeah, Check out the best series we ever did on uh, Supergroup, which is FIFA Wars, everybody. <laughs> it's not aware. Possibly the greatest bit of content we ever did produce. Jeff would agree. Kong v Zill is going to go fucking crazy. March 26th, bro. <laughs> yeah, tune in. Bro. Oh, oh, bro, Kaiju out, Kaiju's out of the ears that day, bro. It's going to be crazy. That's a still. It's okay, bro. We're excited. Fucking HD. Moving I want to do these podcasts, bro. Hold up, I need to actually look for my fidget spinner. Do you want to know what I do? <laughs> yeah, I do that too. I've got a little bit of blue tack here on my table that I flim about with in my hands while I'm doing stuff. I just go what if? manipulate it. Fidget spinner! Fidget spinner! I've got a tooth cleaner, but I don't think that's very satisfying for people to look at for an hour. You've, so got, a, just you've got a what? One of these. Oh, Jeff. Uh, and you got. <laughs> Benny, what's your fidget tool for your ADHD on the podcast today? <laughs> the back of his head. Uh, it's just his yeah, hair, bro. You're a little curly. Hey, man, I've got, I could also do that. See, put up a counter on this podcast of how many times I fucking touch my hair. <laughs> I guarantee you'll be in the double digits. Long-haired, man. Benji, you've become, we've been saying all this time how much you've turned into such a handsome little boy with that hair. You've oh, become you. half hedgehog, bro. Yeah, it's just spiking. Oh, you know, See, when my hair gets cut short, like, as short as Jeff's should be, uh, I never touch it. It's it like doesn't exist. But as soon as it gets to this length, it's like I yeah. start battling with it. It's because you're not bro, used to it, bro. bro. Super, bro. Haircuts are forbidden. It's actually forbidden, bro. It's Look at this. Look at this. Bro. Look at this, bro. Come on. <laughs> when was the last time I had this cut? When was the last time I had this cut? This. Bro, nobody needs. Nobody needs to see that. Okay, bump the door up and turn into yeah. space. Don't play with me. Don't blame me. Oh, like Ben Bryce. Uh, half, it's, it's, and this is the part of our well. audio-based podcast where we start touching our hair <laughs> and not explaining anything. For those who are not watching, everybody is playing with their hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Look at like, look at the last time. Like, I'd, I've not caught this in like two years now, maybe. Mm. Some way like that it's the longest it's been. Like, if y'all seen me before, like in the early days of this channel. Uh, my hair used to be quite fucking different, significantly different. I used to be forward and a big mop on the top of my head. And then I decided it's getting to the point where if it gets too long, it just looks really stupid. 
So fuck it, bro. Yeah, like fuck, I didn't care. Like I was like I looked like you know I wouldn't have it now, but looking back, it was a phase that I was going through. You know, I want your hair up, bro. You get yeah. a phase where it looks goofy, but you have yeah. Yeah, we're bro. we're looking for the. I was looking for the, and then I decided, fuck it. I wonder if I can just make my hair do this. And I had to basically manipulate it for so long. I had to brush it back. I had to tie it, and then whenever I tied it and I let it go, I needed to try and make it do this, and then eventually just did it itself, bro. And now we're here. What is the dude? Apparently. Uh, you know, really, I was like, looking like the dude. I just hate the yeah. fucking eagles, man. Fucking hell! I saw him um, going through my photos the other day. I got a photo of uh, Mark playing with Ruby, oh. and he's in a dressing gown as well. And it's it's just like a spitting image. Fucking, what's his name? Jeff. Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges. Hell yeah, I do. Bro. Bro. Yeah, I would do Jeff, yeah, Jeff Bridges. He does, doesn't he? Oh man, he's I'll... a good spurs though. Ah yeah, he'll pull. He'll have, have to. Jabby. He'll abide, bro. He's the dude. He's the dude. He's literally, he's literally the figurehead of my whole religion. So he has to pull for. Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. If all the dudists will be out here for him, bro. All the pog chimps are watching this podcast. Leave a little monkey for Jeff Bridges, bro. He'll pull for. You gotta leave a chimp if you look. If you ever watch a super group content and you don't leave a chimp. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, that's a sh- that is horrible, but man, like for those who don't know, I don't know if I've ever talked about it in the podcast before. My do this, my do this religion beliefs, bro. Um, I don't no. think I ever have. Huh? I don't have my card on me right now. Uh, next time we hear the podcast, I pull it out. But basically, I am an ordained do this minister. I can marry you. I can do marriages and all that sort of stuff in certain states if you so wanted. So hit me up if you want to do this wedding or funeral, or whatever. And basically. Letting anyone do that shit. Hell <laughs> yeah, bro. Letting anyone for... Yeah, man. That, how do you think Joey Tribbiani from Friends did it, bro? He became a minister on life. Well, yeah. Friends reference. That's how I did, bro. Yeah, of course. I the top selling sitcom. Bro, it's either that or Family Guy after all. Nah, the guy too, bro. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. oh my god, bro. So, Dudism. How do we describe Dudism? Dudism is a fusion of ancient Taoism, which is a very ancient. I think it's like middle. Like, power, it? It's an Eastern, uh, ancient kind of philosophy, basically. It's it take, the philosophy of all in, of balance in all things. And it's, the yeah. yeah, it's a philosophy of, like balance and like abiding and just like, just being at that level, bro, and just basically doing you and all that sort of stuff. It takes that. I mean, it's got like a bunch of crazy alchemical stuff too. It takes all that sort of stuff out. Yeah, it's it's based on the uh, Tao Te Ching. Um, mm-hmm. It's like a whole scripture uh, written by. I forget his name, but Asian it's basically name. about being in accordance with the Tao, which is like the way of nature. Yeah, bro. And knowing that uh, if, if you're out of accordance with it, you're just like flailing around anxious. But if you're in accordance with it, you have like the power of the universe behind every mm, action. It's a bro. mad, mad it might thing, be but... facts, bro. Ben, thank fuck you're it's... here for that, bro. Thank God you were here to explain <laughs> that. That's it. Like, that is Taoism. It's that. Maybe fused with the philosophy of the dude from the movie the big lebowski which so it's taking a fusion of all your if you're in accordance of the universe you have that power and also just abide and you like a white russian abide with a right russian and enjoy and play bowling and hate the eagles fuse that all together do it as european man Uh, yeah exactly i absolutely love the logo for dudism yeah man uh, was it taiji it's Ten, the, yeah, it's the yin yang, yang, but it's bold. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get fantastic. that. I'm getting that as a tattoo, bro. Watch me. I need to. It's like, <laughs> that is my. That is my. Basically, my whole philosophy being a fucking microcosm, bro. So I had to join Dudism because it was like that is just it. <laughs> that is it, bro. It's just abide and I abide, and you will attain the powers of the universe for your own good, pretty much. So I think I, I will. Fuck with Taoism, bro. Of yeah. all like the like what is it like six or seven major yeah. religions. You should look that at it. Like, pretty chill. <laughs> look at it. You should look at it. Do this, bro. Join up. Get yourself I mean, low. Is there any towers and fields in a movie that I've never seen? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. So, you, you, know how, lost, you know how like Muslims have the carpet they need to build on? Do you hmm. need a, a like a rug that brings your room together? Or anything? <laughs> uh, that that nah, Buddhism doesn't really enforce it, and you see it preaches non-preachiness and that. You basically just. If you join it, then that is it. You know what I'm saying? You don't do it. You, do. you just abide after that from then on. And uh, catch yourself if you don't. Very much. You could get a rug, though. You could get a nice oh, yeah, rug of course, that brings you know. them together. That's all. That's all. It's if all you get a rug, Mark, someone has to piss on it. I think someone's going to have to piss on it. Who's pissing on my rug, man? Who's pissing on my rug? <laughs> did, you, did you pee on my carpet? 
It brought the rugs together. What's going on here? Why are we passing on rugs? That's no, what happens. You never seen the Big Lebowski, bro? <laughs> yes, bro. That's what happens in the, the film. Op the, the opening scene of the Big Lebowski is him coming home, and a man uh, gives up. What do they call it? A swirly. They yeah. Give him a swirly, and then one of the guys goes and pees on his rug. That's literally how the whole film. Leave. American like bully culture is that shit real? Like swirlies and like getting a wedgie. Is so. that real? Uh, my grand got swirlies when she was a teenager, so she battered the woman that the ghetto that did it. I, Could you imagine someone trying to put your head in a toilet, bro? And then flush, and then you're flush. awakening my animal instincts, and you're not walking away. I would actually turn in there. I would like <laughs> try yeah, to put my fucking head in the toilet. Monkey, imagine monkey. What, I'd be like my gag reflex, bro. I'd just be swimming in my own sick. Ah, oh, come on now, Jesus Christ, swirl. No, I'm a pacifist, that is perpetual but if you try horror. and wet willy me, nigga, you're going down to the <laughs> <laughs> you, you need try to be more like willy me, boy, it's over. Yeah, you need to have bait. more like the dude who just says, fuck it, uh, put me down there, I think I can, I think I can see it, you know? <laughs> That's what he said. I can see the money that I owe you, so they were put like, me down in that yeah. toilet. They were like, where's the money, Lebowski? And he goes, just down there somewhere, let me take another look. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's the, the whole <laughs> film. Give a fuck. The whole film is the dude on a quest to basically just get a new rug and get reimbursed for getting pissed on, and then he just gets rolled in a whole <laughs> utter rigmarole. But the whole I time see. he's just, the whole time he's just riding the lawn, bro. He's just like, the, yeah, we'll just so be fine. There's no arc or anything. It's a movie so about good. nothing. It's a movie about a guy who likes white Russian. Who's trying to and abide, that's all it is. He's trying to abide. He's trying to get his rug back, bro. It's so good. It's literally just yeah. That's he's my Jesus Christ, bro. It's just facts. He made um, it all feel about a really films. deep religious conversation right now. Hey, we're in it, bro. This is what dude does. Is this a deep religious conversation? Yeah, I'm we're talking. We could, we could uh, strafe it and get a bit. I'm real. gonna. I'm Google who wrote Tao Te Ching because that's really yeah, pissed yeah. me off. We're talking about yeah, bro. Fuck bro. Dude, I'm all about balance that. and energies and all that stuff. Dude, those are literally just. I feel just, like my vessel yeah. is it could contain and. Uh, you I've been know, yeah, I've been a member of Dudism for cosmic force. I've been a member of Dudism for like five years now. Because it was Lao Tzu. Loud suit. Loud suit the fucking that was epic. Epic. Insane Taoist. He basically just wrote, like. I mean, he literally wrote the Tao yeah. Te Ching, which was. He literally wrote all the dogmas. His Taoism. The, t the commandments yeah. of Taoism, essentially. Yeah, fundamental texts. Yeah. The sacred texts. The sacred texts! Text. Sacred texts! So, yeah, you fuse him and you fuse Jeff Bridges, bro, and then you get it. And yeah, I've been a member of that for like five years, bro, because I just remember reading up about it and it's just like. It just has loyalty bonuses, bro. Like now you can fucking like funeral niggas as well. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, that's the whole thing. I've got my ID in my. <laughs> I've got my. I've got... I've got my ID in my wallet. Should I go get it? Will you be well on the way for me? I'll go get it. We've got pause production. I mean, we can cut yeah, the space it. between you it. going Here to go, get it and it. you coming back. I'm going to get it, everybody. We, I'm going to get it. Yay! I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Whenever <laughs> he stood up, there was just like nothing. That's the fastest I've ever seen him move. <laughs> well, while well, he's gone, uh, Benny, have you ever uh, seen the video of the guy the dude is based on? The real life man? No. I, don't know I think you'd be thing. underwhelmed, bro. I think you'd be very underwhelmed. I would, I would, uh, yeah. I'm, mm, I wouldn't be surprised. He's uh, so not chill. I mean, I, to be honest, neither was the dude. The dude, uh, would, well, the dude did, nah, if the dude got flustered, okay. the dude was all over the place. This guy is always, like, full of energy and shit. It's not... Like, the Coen brothers are like, yeah, this is the guy we based it on, but I don't see the dude in him. That's, that's he goes the by like, the dude. Movies, movies take reality in such a way... You know, you, you, you see and you think, yeah, yeah, this is real life, this is reality, but it's just like... You know, you go outside and think, hmm... Okay. You would imagine that if the guys that made the movie and wrote the character are like, oh yeah, we based it on this guy, yeah, there would be some stuff with him. Like, oh. yeah, yeah, they just do what they want, don't they? Bruh, I know I fell through the wall. I was moving that fast. Or the walls. I was saying that. Actually. For dimensions, all, all, the sure. like, all the walls in this room or like, in this house are just like, you know, on the pla edge. plastered. <laughs> so That's true. I, I the, witnessed the I roof the, falling. Yeah. I did the the wall hit and I just felt and I just heard the sound and I went ah and we died. But ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Here's my official ordained do this priest identification. Mark J. Coleman, do this priest, ordained the first of December two thousand sixteen. Caution. Uh yeah, it cost me some money. I was like, Oh bucks. come on, you, oh come on. Bro. I wanted it, bro. I quite right. That. Do you yeah. have to pay for that shit? Quite rightly oh. so. 
Come on, man. I wouldn't have dropped money on it if I didn't want it, and I needed You've it, been bro. Finagled, bro. Ah, this is like this is the dude's ID, bro. I can use You've this been to get in. Kind of so you can just, bro. I've not. You've been fucking Joel Austin, bro. It's not true. It's, <laughs> You've it's been Joel Austin. It's not true. It has. <laughs> not true. It's Austin. not. If I Joel Austin, he runs like a fucking mega church and just scams niggas out of money, big money. <laughs> It's just a card, bro. It holds, it holds value to me as a person. That's enough, isn't it? You yeah, know? I mean, I would come respect it. I was just not expecting it to cost money to yeah, join man. a fucking... No, it didn't cost money for the, the join. It cost money for the card itself. Ah, uh, of course. You see, of course, of course, of course. it's free. Oh, you sign up. Come on. You could actually make the money back very quickly. Yeah, of course. Of course I could. That's the whole point. Even says you baptize me? Yeah, I can baptize you in the name of Dudism, of course. I could do it. We could do it. Uh, what do you, oh, do you have to do, in, you know how they dunk them in water? Do you have yeah. to dunk people in a big vat of white <laughs> Russian? Yeah. Uh, oh. That'd be a swirly white oh, no. Russian, bro. Straight piss. No, 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 no. This is what you do. You gotta get a bath of white Russian and then drop a, um, is that a ferret? What's in the movie again? A ferret? Oh, you remember yeah. the movie? He's oh, yeah. Bath. He's oh, yeah. It's a, it's a ferret. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Then you gotta drop a ferret in the bath and that's how you got uh, blessed. That's pretty funny. Even says Are you back. suggesting making a pool full of liquor and diving in? Oh, <laughs> you dive in. Even says back here, bro, e plurbius dudium, or which means in Latin, in dudeness we abate, which is very <laughs> epic. And then it buys oh. a bunch of text in the back. What so does it say? you've been a dudist priest and a dudist follower for half a decade, bro. Mm, bro, I've told you, bro, I've been about this for quite some time. This form of identification affirms that the individual mentioned on the other side of this card is an ordained minister of the Church of the Latter-day Dude or Dudism and should be... Fucking that's the fucking dude. That's the full title. And that's should funny. be afforded all the accordant privileges and honours deemed appropriate by concerned authorities. The cardholder agrees to represent the church to his or her best abilities and will not attempt to use this ID in an unlawful fashion. That is to say, he or she will obey the rules and not try to scam anyone. <laughs> that's very cool. Anyway, we got all the contact deets at the back there. Uh... Tune in for the end of the podcast if so you want to call up Dudism if you have troubles. That's what we're here for. Uh, yeah. Benny, do you have any religious or spiritual alignments you'd like to let people know about? Um, that's literally my alignment, yeah. That's probably the word for it, you know? Basically, everything that Alan Watts says. Mm. Yeah, Alan or Watts. Even a sneezes guy. out. I'm, I'm there for it. Alan, Watt, the Alan Watts is a bit like bro. I love that guy. Actually, fucking right beside me. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Become what you are. That's My very epic. Dad. That's Absolutely. epic, bro. That's a, real, that's a really good title for a bit, bro. It, it resonates with me very much. Becoming like what you... Becoming vibes. becoming what you are very much uh, resonates with me, bro. That's what it's all about, yeah. bro. At the end of the day, isn't it? Mm. I mean, there's nothing worse than wasted potential, bro. Even, like, wasted potential with other people, that shit hurts me. Yeah, man. Like, I'm I feel like that hurts me to see that shit. I'm like, oh. I've seen it you before, You don't believe bro. it's possible, bro. Yeah, man. I've and said that. people that believe it's possible, bro. I've said berate, I've, yeah, I've enthusiastically berated so many people, bro, who say they can't do it, and I'm just like, fucking, sh shut up. <laughs> Either do or do not, bro. What did the little green man, man say? How that many fucking film? idiots make it in life, bro? Yeah. It's like... How many dumbasses, yeah. bro? It's easy. Bro, if we, we lived in a timeline where Donald Trump became president for four years, like, and you're saying you can't do what you want to do? Come on, now. Come on. Fuck. Bro, okay, I see. So, you know how... These people in America are crazy. Mm. Conspiracy yeah. mad niggas. Yes. So when Biden got inaugurated, bro, the, mm. the, the, oh. the trending tweet was, what was it? It was like, Biden, Biden is, is Trump. 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 Trump is Biden. Oh my I God, it was that, a disguise. I think that only started trending because everyone saw it and thought, That's hold on, hilarious. They, they are reaching into deep space here. But they've gone the re deep, deep space. space. They went off the fucking they've, went, they've went past space, bro. They've entered the new dimension. Think, I don't think anyone actually believed it, but it was just this one post on like fucking 4chan saying like, oh, uh, Biden is actually Trump in disguise. Uh, <laughs> he will get Biden <laughs> once again. Trump. Did Family Guy that. not do something like that once? Well, of course he did. Where <laughs> a politician Probably. was masquerading as another politician who was having secret gay sex. Uh, bro, they keep saying the Simpsons predicted it, bro. Family Guy have now predicted it, bro. It's ultra. It's ultra. God actually fucking help us all. <laughs> That's funny. Bro, fuck all the well, countries. Jeff, do you have any religious bro? or spiritual alignments you'd let the people know about? Hmm. Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Quite right, yeah. Hell yeah. Well, He's the most enlightened man. Tell him why not. That's true. Uh, 
doesn't give a fuck. He's the most enlightened guy. Because I already know everything. I know how it is. Uh, it's yeah. just, it all seems like it's too hard. I believe what I see. So show me something and then I'll believe it until you show me it. Bugger off. So the universe is here, bro. So what do you make of that? Like everything is here. Science, bro. Science. I don't believe I got it. You don't seem like a science I'm, type guy. Either. Imagine man with giant hands, sprinkled some dust and everything went pop and was yeah. there. Well, but then yeah, right, science right, says right, that the dust was always there. So how does that make any sense? Think about it, Jeff. What is actually doing all this shit? Uh, you know what? It is? One, I, if you, if a man came down from the sky and was like, "Yo, I'm God," I would, I'd probably give him a minute of my time. But also, <laughs> yeah, I saw you I haven't, I haven't given anything enough thought to come up with a reason. <laughs> that's fair. I, you know, that's uh, fair enough. That's fair enough. I'm the same I mean, as you, yeah. really. I don't really. Believe, I'm kind of quite the same as you, but I'm more like you know, I am willing. I don't believe in. Fucking afterlife, heaven, hell, fucking higher power, any spiritual spooky ghosts nice. or nothing. But that would be nice. I'm willing. I like to believe that my grand went somewhere. Yeah. But come on. I'm willing. To, yeah. Realistic. I'm willing to more. I'm more willing to believe. I mean, like, is it realistic to say that it's just as easy to yeah. say it went north? To There's say definitely. It went north. Yeah, it's true. See, yeah, go off a little bit. You can go off, bro. Yeah, go that's, off, right. bro. that's what we're here for, bro. Yeah. Go off. Right. So from what. Is it, this is just like my little perspective. That's what I see uh, over here. The perspective my show, bro. From what, what I like, it's think and, and digest true. anyway. I basically think, especially in a heavily technical minded Western world, people have become just beyond tired with the words uh, God and just like the whole like Christian. Judaism. Yeah, it's been here for Judaism? so long. Judaism. Judaism. No. Judaism. 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 The, the whole, the whole religion. Basically, the whole viewpoint of a, a supreme power that is just an old, angry, disappointed dad. Yeah, basically, all, like, follow dad's, just, like, yeah, follow dad's rules. Yeah, low road Christian. children. I think people have become so tired of that. And so when people start talking about spirituality or believing in higher powers, they immediately think of, you know, all this sort of like run around about oh if you don't we're not going to tell you how to be a good person mm. but if you're not a good person you're going to be punished for eternity yes. yeah there's yeah, no yeah. there's no rules but yeah, don't it's, do it's anything like, wrong scaring yeah, people so in like, behave, yeah. scaring people into behaving pretty much scaring it's, people because uh, uh, some people are like some people are yeah, so just, yeah some people are so terrified about the fact that they don't know what the fuck's on the other side they're willing to do anything so that they don't end up in some fiery lake yeah, yeah. because they're they nothing they can do after it but it's such but a imagine it turning in a fiery lake bro like, yeah, i know yeah. exactly that's that's why <laughs> that's that is the beauty that is the I beauty think eventually bro. it'd be like being in a hot tub i think you'd be like ah <laughs> you get used to it. i'm sure the higher powers yeah. of the fucking fallen angels would find a way to renew and refresh it for you bro you know the thing i is, just want to let them on to it it's the same thing you remember when i used to say you go, if you get stabbed Ouch. but you don't notice you've been stabbed you won't feel yeah. the pain <laughs> i love that analogy bro what That's if you're in a fire yeah. a lava pool if you don't notice you're in a lava pool and you just kind of go oh i'm yeah. in a hot tub <laughs> The way I see it, bro, I'm completely <laughs> going into a dissociative state when Satan claims your soul. Mm. Yeah. Like, a dissociative state forever? That's I'm, even worse. That's terrifying. I can probably do it, bro. I've been practicing. Numb. My God, bro. Oh, That's terrifying. I'll just tell myself I'm a Haven Spa and it's only a three-star resort. <laughs> Fucking Haven Spa. I'm on uh, Paradise Island. That's silly. That's funny, but... I've always been like, yeah, I don't know. I'm quite, I'm quite ready, to, like, you know, if I pass it, I'm not too fucked about any of that sort of stuff. Obviously... Yeah, I'm not the kind of person to go. I know 100 percent for a fact I'm gonna be warm food and that's it. Because like, Cause if the only said that, bro, you're an idiot. The only way to know, know the only way to know for a <laughs> fact is to die and then come back immediately after, and uh, I should have solid concrete proof that you've been to the fucking astral planes. But I'm willing. I'm of the school of belief where I'm like, you know, and there's probably some sort of strange, otherworldly, extra dimensional, crazy forces that are beyond my comprehension and mm. society's comprehension because either we don't have a way to study it and find out what it is or we just don't know. I've certainly taken enough fucking substances grown by the earth to fucking be like, there's mm. definitely some, like, I've always said this, brother, tool, stuff like that, you know, shrooms, DMT, fucking uh, weed and all that, it's tools of the earth, you know what I'm saying? They're grown on this planet, bruh, and they take out, they, they do something to your brain. All these they ancient you, societies are taking mushrooms and all sorts of shit. Yep. Send you away to some crazy wild madcap place. Where I stand with that is like, 
I, I totally I totally understand where like a lot of folk are coming from, like where they take, you know, just hyper psychedelic drugs, like psychoactive drugs and they start seeing shit. And mm-hmm. there's all of these like, Oh yeah. Yeah, I know. Spiritual yeah. awakenings and there's all like like thousands of years of history of like yeah. ancient cultures doing this very thing. But the thing is it's like I I don't I don't actually believe I don't I don't I really don't think that these like chemicals sort of uh, like heighten your senses to like you know things that your mm. regular senses can't see i just think it's like w- when you drink a lot you know yeah you yeah lose, exactly you, you lose do, balance it's like oh that. i drank bottles of gin and i fell over because mm-hmm. i was drunk it's like oh i took mushrooms and i saw yeah. the world so, yeah because yeah, you're I'm also, fucking yeah. psilocybin so it's like mm. it's that's I, an easy I, way I, to look at it bro but you can't prove i'm also yeah that's the yeah, yeah, well, our dimension that we can't access bro you i can i it. can believe yeah i can i can utterly absolutely agree, like i can take on board that point and all that it makes perfect yeah. sense i've been like i've but, also felt like it's just your brain getting crazy on some shit you know but, yeah, um, it all depends but on the logic where you are as well Hmm? You think you're, if you actually think with your brain or you think with your emotions, that makes a difference on whether you're going to buy this shit, isn't it? Mm. <clears throat> I'm an almost robotically logical man. I think it's humans. Yeah, humans are and I fucking wildly like, <laughs> social creature. So, it, honestly, like any any I think for highly Alpha, charismatic yeah. person can just say a few words to you, and no matter how like how sort of sure you are of your views you could you could wobble a bit all it takes is one charismatic uh you know pack animal human See, you say humans, that, follow, uh, humans follow each other so start talking some stuff you say that get, well, Sam before if that was if that was how it works then scientology would be the most forward religion because they got tom cruise Captain Chris. Hey, but yeah, they are here, but they've got the yeah, money, bro. And it's, the company, bro. And there's perfect examples, bro. Heaven's Gate. That is just exact, bro. How, oh, they managed to get all these people just kill themselves because if they're going to get taken by aliens. Crazy. Do you know what I'm saying? And then, like, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Need something to believe in, bro. Yeah, Some true. people's lives are so crazy. Just, just. I mean, I'm always yeah. word, bro. Crushing I think, yeah. that they will need to turn to some sort of higher faith to to get by, bro. Yeah. And I can mm. understand that. Shit. And if you need to do I that, can't get the mindset of that, bro. Uh, I've always been like, yeah. I don't believe in the self, yeah. bro, in the power of the self. Mm, I can't agree. Because Jeff, you were saying earlier, you only believe what you can see, bro. I only believe what I can know, and the only thing I can know is I am here. I can't even fucking say if any of you are real. Yeah. But everything. Think, cognito ergo sum, bro. So. Everything's everything. Nothing's nothing, but nothing no, is everything, mm-hmm. and everything's mm-hmm. nothing, bro. You can see. Is great, bro, and the, mm. you, if you once you realize that, bro, then you can do anything you want to. You actually fucking what, have what have you got to lose? What have you so added, bro? What else fucking is there, bro? I've been fucking saying this for so goddamn long, bro. What do you want to be and what else is there? Become. Some people achieve. don't want to become, bro. To be scared, like here. Uh-huh. So many people will not want to chase their dreams or ambitions, bro, or reach their potentials because. Of yeah, we talk, we've talked about, yeah, we've talked about that. What other yeah. people will think. Yeah. Some people are even afraid of what will happen if I succeed, bro. Some people, Some people are, are also quite satisfied of just like the the dreams, also, you know? The people that mm. have the fucking the daydreaming of like, oh, imagine if I was this big epic man and we're here doing all this epic stuff. <laughs> Couldn't and that be me. You know, I get it as well. But like, you know, well, why, why would you rather dream about it? You can just make it, see if you can make it fucking happen, bro. And then fucking the day you finally leave this planet, you either become it or you give it the fucking best goal you could have. And you mm. pass away knowing that you fucking certainly tried it. And you actually gave it the fucking hardest goal you could have possibly given it, bro. You know? You owe it to yourself to seek your true potential, bro. Whatever that means to you. It could mean just be the best, the nicest person you can be. You know what I'm saying? And you could work in whatever job, same routine yeah, lifestyle. Bro. Yeah, just everyone's got their own path, bro. bro. It's true. Take your dreams agree. no matter how small. Yeah. <laughs> we say it every time, bro. It's true, bro. Like, it's such a running theme, this, but it's like that's a running theme, bro. That's just one of the things that, that brings soup speak together, soup group and all that shit, bro. We're all little boys of big dreams. And we all what do you all think believe. about uh, cosmic power? What do you think about the universe? Well, like, in, well, like, like, if Galactus would pull up one day and attack <laughs> us? Mean, or... You never know, bro. Right. I don't know, because Jeff was talking about the Big Bang Theory earlier on. Mm-hmm. And that theory states that we all started, every, well, everything in the known universe started off as a single atom, park or whatever. Yeah. Which would lend credence to everything is everything. Mm-hmm. And we're all expanded from that one thing. So yeah. I feel like afterlife, whatever you want to call it. I'm a strong believer in, I need to return to the elements, bro. Like, I don't want to be, like, 
preserved or you know what I'm saying like put in a box I need to be like Wait, you gotta go and get buried with a circle of life bro. get buried so with a tree can... or something yeah oh, exactly it's... yeah so it's... I can regain and return to I'm right that here. oneness I'm right there with you it'd be a good it's ending it's a scientific fact I know that's a bit of a dirty word these days but <laughs> fuck whoever hey man if it's, fact, it. if it's facts it's, it's facts isn't it scientific fact that every single one of your atoms was forged in the heart of a dying star. Mm -hmm, that's true. That we are stardust, bro. Walking stardust. People still trying to tell me I don't have any cosmic power, bro. Come off it. Right, it's not like or superior origin story, bro. You we are the descendant. One thing. One thing that I want to fucking. One level of thinking that I, I'm desperate to diffuse in so much, so many people, is when they see some kind of like cosmic event, like a lunar eclipse or a meteor shower, or even if they just look up. And you see stars in the moon, and you mm. think, oh, we're just tiny little things. It's like. Nah, we're a part nah. of all of it, bro. That's the you're fucking looking thing. At you're looking that's, at us. That's, that's you, you're looking yeah, at Yeah, bro. It's facts. You, bro. Yeah, it's like, actually so true. This is, is your inside. These are your thoughts, your feelings, your opinions. This is your hand. This is your body. If all of this is you, and all of this is your outside, because you could only exist in an environment like this. You know? It's like only a being such as yourself could have only have come about from a world like this you as you are and all your problems and issues and neurosis goes with the rest of reality facts it's all big facts all bro. that yeah bro think about that way bro all that shit actually just melts away once you're gone and you just become fucking one with everyone else again do you know what i'm saying you don't know that the universe doesn't end when you die. You can't. Nah, I definitely don't, do. Yeah, absolutely not, bro. Like, I don't know what, the know is. what kind Question of reality is. we're in. So I'm just trying to live in the thing where it's like, I know I'm here. I'm trying to do my shit. Anyone yeah, trying, trying yeah, to get in my way, that's irrelevant. Any people Question trying is, to talk me not, down, that's nonsense. It's not what, what, what was going to happen to you after you die. The question is, how the fuck did you get here? Mm. That, bro. How, how are you? Cause that's the one. And it's no, like how are you just how, how are, are you? This it's such never a time all well, like Ben. Even a man, and a woman, <laughs> really love each other. Oh man, it's a simple oh. explanation, and it goes like this. <laughs> oh, what did he do? What did he do, Jeff? <laughs> Please get explicit on this podcast. An air. And then. An air. And then you go what? <laughs> Wee! Wee! I'm a baby. Wee! <laughs> I don't know anything about that. I play games. <laughs> yeah, we're gamers. Yeah, we don't know about that. We don't, we don't touch ladies out here, bro. Yeah. But yeah, no, as, absolutely. As the gamer of the group, I've never women, seen a female. With them all, all day. Mm -hmm. Facts. I only see females in video games. Hell females on real. Hell oh, yeah. You said earlier on that, obviously, you're... Would you describe yourself as agnostic? Me? Give me the full nah, definition nah, of that. Yeah. Is that agnostic means you just, you just don't know. Atheism means you believe there's no... God. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of a glass half empty. I can go I think on agnostic in it. more means that you just can't prove anything, so you just kind of you just. Agnostics think. more like you're basically. Yeah, you, you've, I yeah, guess so. Agnostics Every you subscribe. Every time I hear that word, yeah. I'm reminded of Finding Nemo, mm -hmm. where Nemo meets all the other little kids yeah, and like the, the call on their oh, ship. I know One of them just goes, "I'm agnostic. <laughs> I don't believe in the great fish god." Oh my god! I don't even remember that scene. What the hell? That's so Fucking random. Yeah, the beginning of the movie, isn't it? Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. Agnostic's like, you're, you don't subscribe to either. You're just like, I just don't fucking know, bro. I'm you can't know. know. It's like, atheism, you say, there is no God I know. Agnostic is... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not strong enough that. in my opinion that there is nothing. Because I haven't done atheism enough to prove that. Atheism uh, mm. is what I was getting get, to. Basically, basically, everyone can believe what they want as long as yeah, they don't exactly. bother me about it. Yeah. And if you get some <laughs> solid proof, chuck it my way and I'll give it a whirl. Um, um the Bible. <laughs> Someone um, wrote it. Um, um yeah, I'm up the school but like, yeah. Whatever school um, you're in, bro, stay in it, you know. Take your time, oh, Benji. So, oh my god, bro, if we're gonna throw up there. I saw sort of that. Uh, I'm i am kind of at the point in my life where like I can't prove any kind of, you know, specific deity or higher power, but yeah. I'm basically I, I definitely feel at this point that I I'm like just yeah. not a part of something but basically the same kind of process eternal process of everything else so you're just like, one cog in the mass machine that is the world yeah, universe it's, experiencing it's, it's it like, itself bro like from, yeah. you, Jeff, bro. you don't you're agnostic you don't believe in whatever if you on a story and clear night look up bro you tell me you don't feel some sort of something mm. yeah but it's not spiritual 
Hmm. Well, this please sure? is more of an awing Are feeling, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's more of like, see when I watch a good yeah. movie and I'm like, fuck wow, the scale, wow. the spectacle. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I, I take in the wonder, but I don't go. I'm Awakening inside. Do, yeah. do you wonder enough? Mm. He doesn't wonder enough, bro. Ignorance is bliss. I guess so. I guess. Are, uh, so I, happy, I start, but, I'll, yeah. I'll look and I'll be like, wow, but you show me a pretty picture of a seaside resort and I'll go, wow. So, but I don't know. what's that like? like to look where... climb, bro. I just feel like. Well, oh, for me, ball. I'm like, bro, you know, I do like, I don't know. I've all, I'm, I know for a fact, you know, obviously I can't fucking prove or disprove if there is a massive godhead amongst everything, but I know what I prefer to believe, and I prefer to believe that all this just happened, you know what I'm saying? I think it's much more of a beautiful thought that this was not a big canvas and a man grabbed a paintbrush and just fucking went like that and said, this is my design, I know what this is all going to be. I much prefer the concept that just the canvas just got splattered upon out of fucking nowhere and it just created this well, incredible the, well, fucking picture, like, bro. You know? It's kind of been like whitewashed mm. almost. Yeah. Whereas it's been such a ingrained in our heads from like birth and youth that God is like a little man with a big beard, a yeah. white man in the clouds, zapping mm -hmm. lightning. And yeah, exactly. Out. Yeah. Whereas the thing is, that clearly is, not. Nah, I wouldn't be that. So, I wouldn't pick that form fucking whatsoever, bro. It'd be something much more incomprehensible. The, is the universe itself, bro. Mm. And just the mm. thing. The thing is, is that, uh, point. one thing that, again, back to like Alan Watts, he points out just fantastically well, is that both Judaism and, and Christianity and like a lot of Western religions saw like Earth and nature as like a construct mm. created exactly. by a sculpture. Yes, exactly. And yeah. when we started to disregard those religions and the idea of God, we still kept the idea that all of this is just kind of junk put together. Yeah, that's why so much of our science is like our science is really fucking advanced uh, for for what it was for like the longest time. Yeah. Um, and it's it's really just because we just saw all of this as just like mindless junk that we could just combine together, mm -hmm. uh, not as like a sort of web of connectivity. Um, so yeah, we. It's like as much as we can disregard these religions, we, we're still on the opinion that all of this is just some kind of like just artifact. Some machination, it's dead, bro. It's dead yeah. in, its, in its nature. There's no like hidden essence. It's just, you know, junk. And I think that's just like, I think people are made depressed by that and they don't even realize it. People, human they don't monkey even realize that they see the world. Our little, just, monkey, you know, our little monkey brains are so hard on ourselves, bro. It's crazy. We actually <laughs> fucking, we hate. <laughs> Warped to a cursed yeah. image of modern man. I mean, we're actually, we're actually, uh, everything's bad. Nothing's really good. We're all horrible, destructive creatures that are just here, bro. Like we're all just here, bro. Anyway, we're not here for one reason or another. We're just fucking being, being little monkey. We're uh, considering the fact that we're all just little monkey men, right? And we're just on this planet, and we've created society as, as the structures of society and everything else, and the way this planet works right now. And we're not in a massive pillar of flames and we're not just throwing poop at each other, a little monkey poop, and the whole thing is collapsed. That's fairly... I think that's fairly... You said that, mate. Yeah, I think it's fairly commendable that that's not happened yet. Do you know what I'm saying? That we should give ourselves a bit more of a pat on the back to the fact that it's not it's all... happened a couple times. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, we're still here. We're not We're <laughs> not dead. Wars. Yeah, but we're not yeah. We're not dead, but I'm, we're still here. I'm completely the thing. on the side of Mark here. The fact that we have not ourselves, nuked ourselves through oblivion is proof enough that we are just like you know how many we, times we, yeah. we for that, that or people don't give themselves credit for that because they're the people that made the thing that you know good job you've not gotten annoyed mm. one day and pressed the button and dropped a nuke in another country but you're the one that built the thing that gives you that option yeah well that's the thing isn't it? that's the fucking dichotomy of the fucking monkey brain isn't it i guess i don't yeah. know it's just the fact that we're so not uh, the fact that we're still running shit the fit like to a certain extent, we're still running shit and we're still plowing on after mm -hmm. all this time, which is quite a long period of time. Uh, compared to the history of... In comparison to the history of Earth, it's a tiny blip, but can, in, like as if, like as the society of human thinking, feeling beings and not just dinosaurs roaming the Earth, the fact that we're still it's plowing like, ahead is kind of crazy. On, like, modern air and shit, but yeah. it is undoubtedly the best time to be alive. This is probably the most peaceful it. period of time. It was only like eight decades ago that fucking supervillains tried to take over the world and make us all speak German, bruh. 
That's not a very long period of time can, like, for, for, for that. I mean, it was only, what, two weeks ago when the, the latest supervillain got taken out of power? It was... Yeah. Uh, he's still got yeah. Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos to go. Super villain, bro. He's a fun little. He's a fun little character. He's a mini boss. <laughs> uh, he's like the the super villain out of uh, Phineas and Ferb. Oh my god, bro. That's oh, how that's much good. she should take him seriously. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much, bro. That's like my whole thought process and that kind of thing. We're still here. We're still experiencing. We are, but bro, if we want to get even more stone a brain with it, how <laughs> less. <laughs> than our possibly ancient counterparts in like Maya and fucking Egypt and shit. Mm, what was know. the question? Ancient aliens. <laughs> <laughs> were, they, were they or were that's, they not, bro? Were they or that's not? one thing I've been thinking about a lot, actually, is just like, it, it pisses me off, actually, that because there's no like definitive way to prove that Egyptians built the pyramids, say, so, oh, it must be aliens. Must be something. It's I know it's so crazy, like, bro. Like that's they, they definitely did because like aliens, but I feel, I feel like man had to be on some shit. Oh yeah, to make they were. They were. The is, Egypt, Egypt were uh, on. That's crazy. the thing about about believing in, in in some kind of higher power, spirituality in general, is that humans can do fucking anything, I'm a anything as long as we believe it. It's, it's such it. fact, bro. It's Look, it's. Echo was preaching that kind of shit before he tragically passed, bro. He was like. You can mold the universe to your own whim because you are it, bruh. Mm. He was on that life as an anime type beat, bruh. Life as an anime, bruh. I did some psychedelics one time and it all made sense. It was like, life is anime, bruh. I remember that very well. So you've got to start your arcs. Think of it, just think of it this way. It's like, you are here right now with the rest of all other things. So what, what are you worrying about? Mm -hmm. We're all like, oh, just here. Go for it enveloped in the universe experiencing itself bro so all you can do is try and lead the most epic life that you can and achieve all the fit all the achieves you wish to achieve basically become mm. basically the just become in whatever way that you feel like you in should become. Way, bro. even if you want to be the best fucking fry cook you can be just you hey, man. Your heart yeah. think about who was the best fry cook at one point bro jim the original fry cook come on now the original fry cook, the original bro, fry cook I was driving to my solid gold mansion next to my solid gold lake. What if I thought I'd take a trip down memory lane? <laughs> I want to be like Jim and have a solid gold mansion, bro. You need to get, you need to get vision wishing. One patty the right way. <laughs> I'm not cut that gym, bro. Bro, I'll, bro. Like we get a gym for a minute. <laughs> Can I just say? And talk like, of ancient civilizations to chat about Jim, the fridge of Franklin. I just want to say. Square pants the show. Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> One of my favourite lines from that entire episode is when SpongeBob goes, But you're the greatest fry cook in the world. The Krusty Krab deserves better than me. And then Jim goes, Both those statements are true, SpongeBob. <laughs> that boy Jim yeah. back up on his bullshit, bro. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> Both those statements are true, SpongeBob. <laughs> But there's a reason yes. why I left the Krusty Krab. Oh, good episode, bro. Good episode. He's a good fry cook, but he'll only ever be a great fry cook when he finally gets the guts to quit this dump. I can go on. I, I can go on. Jim might really want to construct the pyramids and he just flipped it on a spatula. And <laughs> yeah, of course he did, bro. He said, <gasps> one pyramid, the right way. Janky. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think anyone ever did the pyramid the wrong way and the point was at the bottom and the white bit was at the top? Oh, that'd be crazy. If was was that was wrong. Now, that's definitely aliens if that was that. Like, yeah, if they did that at that point, <laughs> if they managed to build it going up the way like that and have it, yeah, that's when, you know, the Gazorpazorpium, some planet Blomspleen pulled up to help. Because, bro, ancient, <laughs> ancient, ancient niggas knew about, like, the solar cycle yeah. in, like, such detail. Mm -hmm. Well, think of it this way, Sam. Awesome shit. Think of it this way, right? You're an, an ancient human, right? I am, yes. 30,000 30, years ago. 40, but go off. Uh, <laughs> 40,000. 39, actually. Yeah. Um, so, basically, you are kind of about your family, friends, whole civilization. There's, there's really nothing to do but stare at space 
and calculate what goes on. There's nothing to do but just read the land and the sea and the sky and just fucking fields and stare into fucking yeah, fucking yeah. genuinely. Like all ancient humans did was just 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 look at shit around them and just absorb it. Yeah, and people it's, like. Uh... It's, it's One like thing people, I really fucking yeah. dislike is when people think of like cavemen as stupid. It's like nah, humans are no more smarter today than we were. <laughs> <laughs> Ninety thousand. Bro, years why do you fight Neanderthal, Neanderthal? Neanderthals were literally making art even then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, why they don't just do that because they're like, oh, stick man, be kind. They're like, I'm here. This is me making some fucking wall art to fucking build up my cave, bro. You know? Is they don't just do? Well, it, I, I don't feel like they, they're not just doing that for shits and fucking giggles. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel, they're not they're paid. talking about Unga Bunga, bro. So yeah. I don't know what the fuck they have to talk about. They're literally like you can see what you want about the handprints, but they're not like they're literally painting men hunting animals and stuff, chronicling what they did. They fucking were conscious of what they were doing, and they were conscious of chronicling it, bro. That's nothing. That's not just people underrate how you know these civilizations and you know from the before times how fucking crazy people went off, bro. You know, because that's another thing about like human evolution since like the days of like Homo erectus and whatever the fucking ones before that like something like the human brain size doubled in like such a short expanse of time well that's true actually yeah there was um, such an event bro. there's a massive fucking like just gap yeah just bro. like that sort of like uh was it un unanswered like hmm like how the fuck could this have happened in such a short oh, time and that's yeah that is like one of the like that is one, one of the, of big, the yeah. best arguments for ancient aliens ancient astronauts coming down and like so, with their dna that is so, but, i mean obviously it's like it's just cool to think about bro yeah it's cool it sounds well. like the plot of that one alien prequel oh uh, which one well, I'm fucking Prometheus. What, Prometheus, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, engineers. Oh, yeah. yeah, you should give mm -hmm. more credit that he even we've always been kind of fucking epic, bro. You know, I was reading about uh, that one ancient Greek thing, the Antikythera mechanism. Do you know about that? What? Uh, I think is that the sort of box that was found like underneath the sea, and it's like a compass that is so like mathematically. Complex. It's basically yeah. It's basically the first analog computer ever made, and the ancient Greeks made yeah. that, bro. It's a computer. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like this is literally a, it's literally just it's a massive just pile of fucking uh, gears and like bronze gears and cogs that are that was used to like fucking I think it was like predicting the eclipses and stuff and for, for like stuff that's gonna happen in the calendar, bro. It's basically a big ast ast uh, astrology device, and this was ancient Greece. We're talking like Grecian times that they made this way. On the yeah, that's what that was like the the times of enlightenment. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and they were on that philo philosophical shit, so. It was, it's not like they were just on one side thinking thinking philosophically technologically speaking they were on that shit too otherwise well, it didn't it make like the first analog library computer. like the library of alexandria or something it burned down mm -hmm. and it contained a whole wealth of human knowledge yeah that's yeah, what that's what was... started the dark ages bro that's why that happened oh my god well, was... the christians christians came along and said we don't like all this knowledge goes against god burn it down they went, yeah, this ancient Grecian knowledge of the universe and our understanding of ourselves. <sighs> it's against God's plan. We must know nothing. We must live in the dark times and go, God is good. Get out the window and fucking eat, eat cheese and nothing else. <laughs> Literally, it's crazy. But that is a thing, bro. They don't cheese, but... To this day, to this day, like, people don't even really know how the fuck they had the, the knowledge to build this anti kafira mechanism thing in the first place. They've made, like, recreations of it, and it's, like, a big wooden box with, like, glass panels, and it's filled with gogs and gears. It can be used to, like, tell what, like, astrology, yeah, like, predict astrology, like, all that sort of shit up there. And I think it was used as well to, like, track um, the Olympic Games as well, because obviously Olympic Games are going on even then. It was, like, a, a few-year cycle, so they would use this mechanism to, like, say, oh, it's Olympic, Olympic time, everybody, all that sort of stuff. I've done that. Mm. Yeah, monkey brains, bro. Like you gotta give us some credit. We're fucking epic, man. We're fucking cool. We just we may fuck up every now and again, but you know we're not fucking perfect, man. Of course we're not. That's the universe itself isn't perfect. That's why there's, that's why you know, Earth. Like Coleman out here, bro. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's not perfect either, bro. I'm disabled. This I'm all kinds of disabled, bro. And so is that. We're all perfectly crafted male specimens from the clay of the earth itself. Chad check. Boom. <laughs> yeah, but, like, you know, the Earth is just as fucked up as us, bro. They fuck us up just as bad as we fuck it up. And the universe has all sorts of crazy space phenomena going on. 
it's just you know a lot of crazy stuff that's going on. It's just like it's not perfect, bro. It's not one big yeah, crazy. Yeah, Dan Aykroyd up in here to fucking. I mess, I'd love oh, to love sit down man. and have a conversation with Dan Aykroyd, but I'd be like taking that'd be like taking a tab of acid before Pretty speaking much. to somebody because he just goes off about how the ancient aliens were here and they created these crazy crystal skulls that are buried all around the place. We used it to make a cold bottle of crystal Speaks vodka. With such fucking, uh, what's the word? He's basically like you know when he played um, yeah yeah yeah. Sure Maybe he's right. Maybe he's right. Hey, well, it's he, the same thing as that one guy with the frogs and all that. Uh, oh, yeah. Like, like frogs. Freaking frogs, babe. Yeah. Wasn't, wasn't the there some... The people buy him is because he says it with such belief. I mean, he wasn't there... Wasn't there, wasn't there some semblance of truth to that frog gay thing? Wasn't there a thing? There was, yeah. yeah exactly. Was, what do you mean? Oh, how? Um, what? There was some... Uh, a lot of companies, I think... I don't know if they were producing pesticides... But basically, a chemical that they were producing chemicals that found itself in like a water runoff in the war, changing the uh, sexual preferences, turning of male the frogs. freaking frogs, <laughs> and also turned the majority of tadpoles into females. It was turned. Uh, yeah, and that was that, yeah. Right, that's what that's what I'm saying. Right, that's the what I'm saying. Sexual preference yeah. of a frog. Chemical. What? How can you check? How do you? How do you? Well, you see two male frogs, and they keep going at it. <laughs> We've covered this already. <laughs> how many male frogs did they have to watch fucking before they were like, "Yes, this is to do with this chemical." Well, I mean, science just the observations. It's like, yeah, hmm. just they, they looked at yeah, it. You, there's, you a, there's, a heavy amount, male... there's a heavy amount of, of homoerotic frogs. Yeah, exactly. It's not just yeah, Jeff, bro. Jeff, it's not just Jeff. If they saw, if they saw two. One guy walk- if they, if they, they saw, saw yeah. <laughs> I'll just if they saw two homoerotic frogs, that's not enough to be like to cause a lot. Yeah. But they saw numerous. They clearly have seen many yeah. numbers. Think about that though. Yeah. What is your thing. job? What do you go home to your wife and say? Yeah, I you're watched seven thousand fro- male frogs fuck today. Yeah. You're, you're a biologist. That's what biologists do. Yeah. You won't believe what the chemicals are doing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like that's the point. Like. It's just the way that fucking Alex Jones screams at things and makes it sound so stupid. Like, how are you supposed to believe a guy that says, they're tur- putting chemicals on our to turn the freaking frogs gay? You would immediately uh, go, what are you Jones fucking talking about? His, his brain's on some next shit to the point where he's, like, jumping between points at such a voracious speed. He's got ADHD. He, he thinks he's explaining it all it's... thoroughly, but he's really it's... just jumping topics and no one can actually keep on his train of thought. But if you actually slow him down and let him break that shit down for like four hours, he starts making a scary amount of sense. Yeah. And <laughs> well, then would, you, kicked... could you, would you say the same about Kanye West? Or do you think he's just crazy? Yeah, I would say the exact same about Kanye West. I would say they've probably got, there's, there's, there's two good comparisons. They've got kind of the same brain, whatever the fuck. Yeah, they're just mm-hmm. like throwing out forbidden knowledge pretty much, bro. Well, you know? Bits and pieces. Yeah. You're a regular human, bro. They start making a little bit of sense. And then bro. they kicked Alex Jones off of YouTube, bro, as well. I think that's crazy. Right. Censorship. Going crazy, craziness, bro. Um, well, it's probably about time to start wrapping this up, bro. But yeah, I've got one so. question I just want to ask you real quick. Please ask it, bro. Do we believe in aliens? We're here right Fuck now. Yeah. We're here right <laughs> now, bro. We are the fucking aliens, pretty much. We're the freaks of nature that should not have been. We just have. There's I gonna... don't want them to be real. They are. I don't real, know if bro. they are or not. Can't you say either way. I think they're among us, bro. That's mm. the more important. And on Earth. No, I don't think they're on air. Oh, shit. Man. Just shit going on. Hell. I should have brought this up in the group chat a while back, but We're this here. came out uh, fucking, I think, like last week. Basically, do you remember like a month ago, uh, the ex Israeli defense minister came out and said that Earth has been in contact with like multiple alien, mm-hmm. uh, like an uh, Earth yeah, 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 Federation. Bruh. Here's the thing, a couple of days back. The fucking ex defense minister of Canada came out and said, "Yeah, that's facts." Nah, can you? Mm, nah, bro. That would like see. Then why would they not? See if you want. Right, listen, listen, listen. All right, I could, I could potentially they're take. Too, yes, they're two old crazy bro. men. I could like. But, if I woke up one day and you were to tell me like, "Yeah, I would love it." We made, true. you know, a little, a little bleep blorp came down from the planet Oog and walked out with his little <laughs> antenna. And said, blum, 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 and then we were communicating with that. Well, that's cool. That's really neat. Wow, that the, the, we've opened the gates. If you just came out to me and said the Galactic Federation has been ringing us up, bro, that's way too fucking much. That's too much, too soon. 
You can't lay it out on me, bro. In an empty room you can't, yeah. <laughs> this is Gorgamel from Planet Plebos. I couldn't. Nah, that's too much too soon, bro. You can't lay a Galactic Federation on my plate like that, bro. That's too you much. You fucking have a two movie setup, bro. I can't, yeah. You can't just <laughs> go in the that so soon. I can't, like, that is genuinely. I don't think that I could handle that. I could not handle that. Because, like, think about what a Galactic Federation entails, bro. We're talking. This is, like, Galactic I mean, Federation. Earth society that we're living in might get yeah. ripped up and reborn. Yeah, we could. I depend, like. <laughs> I for one welcome our alien overlords. <laughs> they quit like the that's the thing, but like there's if they're like if they are out there, if this galactic federation from some galaxy that's way out and there's just a collection of planets forming this society, bro, their needs and wants are gonna be literally alien compared to ours. You know what I'm saying? Their understanding of everything's gonna be completely out of the fucking pocket of ours. I'd be scared to be if it wasn't, but well, that's the thing, like, they, you can't, like, think, oh. like, yeah, hello there. <laughs> hey, everybody, how are you? Good to see you. You can't think, yeah. like, they, what they're having. Yeah. you can't imagine, like, on the other side of the universe, they have maths and science and philosophy as we understand it, bro. They do say that, but, uh, yeah, I imagine, like, they, I can, I can see the thing that they've some created some form of, like, mathematical, like, equation system. That is, but it's going to be like when we look at it, we're not going to look at it and say that's maths. You know what I'm saying? I it's going to be like nothing. Minds will be able to figure out. It's going to be this. Maths. It's going to be this stuff, bro. It's going to be just random ass symbols and some crazy spacemen building out in space, and we're not going to oh, have any you, understanding of it. Have you watched the movie Arrival? I've heard of it. Jeff, I was just about to fucking mention that. <laughs> yeah, go on. Mm -hmm. You're go describing fucking. the movie Arrival where that's, what's they use be? symbols as language, but then yeah. it turns out this. Well, major spoiler, but I can't. No, 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 shop, shop. I don't. Shop. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, I, can't... I would jump into that box and kick the shit out of you. <laughs> Holes in that wall would be made by me. Oh my god, bro. Well, watch it there. You, you, should, you should both watch it, Sam. You'd even find it intriguing. I think I will. It's, it's an incredible film. Well, if it's... Uh, use, aliens bring a new language to Earth, that's all you need to that's know. That's how it would be. And it's Amy Adams is the lead, and you know, if you can watch Amy Adams. You know the tidy bird that plays Superman's girlfriend? Oh. Which one? Ginger one. Main one. Some... No idea. <laughs> You're not Man you. No idea. Man is to you. Oh, you also no idea. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Sanskrit the ginger one. The start of the film. Hey, we like Sanskrit, bro. Basically, yeah. Yeah, it's do. basically what you're describing, though, Mark. And then mm -hmm. it turns out to be so much more. Of course. That's what would happen, bro. Can you, like... thing is... It wouldn't like... just... Your brain wouldn't just pop at the concept of, like the alien sitting on your planet and talking to you, bro. He would br be bringing you stuff that you could never have possibly even comprehended before, bro. Because it's like... I guy pulling up with a plumbus. He could literally... He would pull up with a regular old plumbus, bro. And then you would be like, well, what the fuck do I do with this? But they'd be like, what are you talking... Everyone has a plumbus in their home. You wouldn't know what the hell it was, though. It's a plumbus, <laughs> man. I'd figure out what to do with it. How do you even translate the alien language to figure out that they said, yeah. oh, join the Galactic Federation? Watch a rival hey. and then you'll find out. Hey. They translated our language. Yeah, they'll probably be the, like, I feel like, like if, they're, if they've already formed the Federation, their society must be so... Because they've obviously been going out, like, they've been communicating with all these other places, and they're like, well, come and join. They probably know how to, like, some sort of <laughs> transla is, translatory tech. We've ash actually entered turning the frogs gay conversation, but, bro, I mean, these, are, these are the... Office, what does that mean for his galactic uh, guardians, bro? Who? His, his space force. Oh. oh, yeah, the space force. I feel like... Guardians of America. Well, so cringe. Anything. Wait, what's this? The Space Force. Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, Trump's. Basically, Jeff. Right. So, Trump's Space Force took a year and a half and God knows how many taxpayer dollars to come up with a name and a logo. The logo is essentially Starfleet logo mm -hmm. from Star Trek. Yep. And the name is just Guardians. Yes, yeah, seen this, bro. Go. Fucking flames on Twitter. Obviously, they're shut on by everyone. Obviously, the American Space Force are calling Wait, themselves the like Guardians. Up straight under. up, Fuck. the exact same logo as the logo from that one TV show was with, uh, with the one on Netflix. What was his name? Seth, Seth, Steve Carell. Uh, oh. was the logo. His thing was all about a Space Force. The movie the show was called Space Force. Oh, yeah, the show was called yeah, yeah, so. Space Force because they were taking the piss out of Trump. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> Trump Trump came first. I don't know what's going to happen. Trump yeah. the Guardians of the actual galaxy uniting with the Galactic Federation. You heard it here first on Soup Group, Soup Speak podcast, bro. 
These are all truth facts. You can't corroborate them, and you can't disprove them. You can. Thanks for watching. Well, <laughs> yeah. Be sure to. I think we'll yeah, we'll close off this utter stoner fucking holy event. Oh, just down the back. Yeah, it's just a little clumsy in the room. Creature. So clumsy, slinking about in the darkness as he fucking does. Uh, but yeah, we'll Trump. It's fucking. <laughs> we'll close it off finally with a like, subscribe, comment, share, bell that usual business. Check out the Discord link when I find men the game with and all that sort of stuff. We've been super group again. Nice. It's been Coleman, Sammy, Jeff, and Benji. Red, purple, blue, and green pulling up once again. Thank you for joining us, everybody. And if the Federation reaches out to you, tell them I said... Wait, where's, where's Ben in relation to me? I don't know. I don't think you were... Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.